The human botfly, Derma tobia hominis, is one of several species of fly the larvae of which parasitize humans. It is also known as the tall salo or American warble fly, even though the warble fly is in the genus Hyperderma and not Derma tobia and is a parasite on cattle and deer instead of humans. Derma tobia fly eggs have been shown to be vectored by over 40 species of mosquitoes and mosoid flies, as well as one species of tick. The female captures the mosquito and attaches its eggs to its body, then releases it. Either the eggs hatch while the mosquito is feeding and the larvae use the mosquito bite area as the entry point, or the eggs simply drop off the mosoid fly when it lands on the skin. The larvae develop inside the subcutaneous layers, and after approximately eight weeks, they drop out to pupate for at least a week, typically in the soil. The adults are large flies resembling bumblebees. They are easily recognized because they lack mouthparts. This species is native to the Americas from southeastern Mexico to northern Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay though it is not abundant enough ever to retain true pest status. Since the fly larvae can survive the entire eight-week development only if the wound does not become infected, it is rare for patients to experience infections unless they kill the larva without removing it completely. It is even possible that the fly larva may itself produce antibiotic secretions that help prevent infection while it is feeding. Remedies Recently, physicians have discovered that venom extractor syringes can remove larvae with ease at any stage of growth. As these devices are a common component of first aid kits, this is an effective and easily accessible remedy. A larva has been successfully removed by first applying several coats of nail polish to the area of the larva's entrance, weakening it by partial asphyxiation. Covering the location with adhesive tape would also result in partial asphyxiation and weakening of the larva, but is not recommended because the larva's breathing tube is fragile and would be broken during the removal of the tape, leaving most of the larva behind. The easiest and most effective way to remove botfly larvae is to apply petroleum jelly over the location, which prevents air from reaching the larva, suffocating it. It can then be removed with tweezers safely after a day. Oral use of ivermectin, an antiparasitic ivermectin medicine, has proved to be an effective and non-invasive treatment that leads to the spontaneous emigration of the larva. This is especially important for cases where the larva is located at inaccessible places like inside the inner canthus of the eye. See also, Cordylobia anthropopaga, meiosis, botfly, references. External links, case report, insect bite reveals botfly meiosis in an older woman, young botfly larvae just minutes after having been extracted from an am, human botfly on the uf ifas featured creatures website. Samson C. E., Maguire J., Erickson E. Botfly Meiosis, Case Report and Brief Review. Annals of Plastic Surgery 46, 150 Euro 2 doi, 10.1097 slash 00006372000 PMID 11216610. Retrieved October 9, 2008. A. Schwartz E. Ger H. Derma tobia homines meiosis, an emerging disease among travelers to the Amazon basin of Bolivia. Journal of Travel Medicine e official publication of the International Society of Travel Medicine and the Asia Pacific Travel Health Association 9, 97 Euro 9 10.2310 70.2002.21503. PMID A 12,044,278 A, Passos Mr. Barrett and A, Barella A Q, Rodrigues G H, Louis Dar. Penal Meiosis, A Case Report. Sexually Transmitted Infections 80, 183 a Euro 4 doi, 10.1136 slash D2003.008235. PMCA 1,744,837. PMIDA 15,169,999. Retrieved October 9, 2008. A. Denyan E. Dallin's PH. Cupia Copyright P. AL External Ophthalmomyces Caused by Derma Tobia Homnes. A retrospective study of nine cases and a review of the literature. 
Actia Ophthalmologica Scandinavica 82, 576 a Euro 84 DOI, 10.1111 per Joule 1600-040.2004.00315X. PMIDA 15453857. Retrieved October 9, 2008 A.